So we're heading back from our little trek, maybe about a quarter mile from the parking lot, but I happened to notice this little out rock outcropping we didn't see on the way over. We were further over that way, which is east of here, a quarter mile where the fence line was. But anyway, I want to take a look at this outcropping real quick. Don't go too far, Dave. I want to take a real quick look at it. Got man and Zanita, pine cones, pine trees. But definitely nothing really catches your eye as far as being really squatchy. And these forests, it's pretty close to the road. You got a lot of game and wildlife running through here in the summer. And you got water source. But yeah, I'm thinking maybe on the other side, a little higher elevation, maybe, I'm not sure, scrub forest. Might be a good area. But it's very quiet up here in this Lassen forest. See, this is a full grown pine tree there. That tree may be about 80 years old, but these trees here, they won't be chopped down until 2143. I don't know how many that's, about 28 years from now. But they got a ways to go. Anyway, over and out. Where you at, Dave? Over here. Okay. No, I didn't see that one. Well, they're limiting where people can walk, I think. It must be on this other side of it. Yeah. Well, this is coming from a dead end to a dead end, though. This is where an old fence line used to be. Huh? That's an old fence line. Yeah. Yeah. I think they're trying to protect that abutment. I mean, this outcropping is what they're doing. Okay. Yeah. yeah Protected yeah. habitat, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. yeah, I have a whistle, yeah. a compass. Um, yeah, I didn't see that GPS. Man. Yeah, you don't go wandering off yeah. hiking without this shit. The basic stuff, but I have some dry stuff and a little jerky water. Enough water to last a day easily. Yeah. Yeah. Matches. I remember being in Big Sur, as a matter of fact. Weird as hell. I woke up sleepwalking. Really? Yeah. Oh fuck. You woke up it was nighttime? Yeah. Yeah, no lamp with you? No, I, I was sleepwalking. What happened? You panicked? Yeah, I woke up from my uh I used to sleepwalk. Oh fuck. That's so dangerous. Yeah, I was screaming out for Bobby. Uh-huh. He heard you? Yeah. yeah that was weird. I used to sleepwalk. I went outside a couple times. From the house? Oh my god. I guess I was. On Castro Street? Yeah. Oh I, fuck. I guess I was having some bad dreams and shit. Let's see, I don't remember. Oh, this, I don't remember. Yeah, that way. Yeah, we took a little roundabout this way. And, yeah, this way. Right? Yeah. We gotta keep going this way towards the road. This way, right? Yeah, we'll catch up with it. If we get to the road, we're good. We can always walk yeah. up the road. We're kind of walking the wrong yeah. way. Yeah. We, we did the diagonal shortcut. You go this but, way. Yeah. Because you can see where they run tractors in here. You know, they run some forestry equipment. Right. Trucks and stuff. Yeah, this way. The best thing is you go where the paths are, you're good. You know, usually. I mean, since you know where the road is, you know where the path is. So if you stay on the path, you're going to go to the road. Well, yeah, you can hear the road. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we know the road's over that way. Sometimes 
So, we're carrying on here, getting our way back to the road. There's a little bit of it's still some light snow, maybe a couple of inches still there on the ground, minimal, because we're at a lower altitude. But you can, we got to the paved road now. I'm gonna walk back to the truck. We didn't go very far, because we were limited on our hike. There's the National Forest, put a fence up there. See, now that's the road there. We better stick to the road, Dave. We better go that way towards the road and walk back to the truck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we, we see how easy it is? You know? See how easy it is to get lost up here? The off angles and stuff? We have no like mountain to or direction or. Yeah, I was thinking there's something here, but I yeah. might be totally wrong. We made a big loop. We made a big circle just to show you how easy it is to get lost off trail. So which way is it? If you go to the road and make a left that way, we're that way. Yeah. yeah. So we're a quarter mile from the road and a quarter mile up. Mile up. We're like this way. Yeah. Probably better we go to the road just to well, make where sure. Is this road? I might go into the forest. Well, this goes to the, the main highway. Okay. You know? Yeah. Or into the forest, how do you know? No, the high main highway's right there. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> that's, the, that's where the freaking keeps going. This is the road I was gonna turn off on and go drive down. I could still drive down if I want. You know? Yeah. <laughs> you to be careful, get over here, man. <laughs> Whoa, having fun in the sun and the snow and the mud. In Lassen County, Are working our way back. This? Yeah. And I'm swearing <laughs> it's okay. You're, You're not cussing anybody's mother out. You're not telling people to F off. You're all good. Anyway, this is what it's like. We we're just doing an experiment, walking through the forest off trail. And when everything looks the same with no real true points of like mountains or, or waterfalls or rivers to give us a guide. And we had to walk back we might have come into a logging or yeah a log truck trail here road county road to make our way back to the highway so we've made a big loop it goes to show you how easy it is to get misguided misdirected discombobulated, discombobulated. <laughs> anyway we'll punch in in a few minutes I think it's right up that way. But yeah, I think it's right up that way. We might as well just, might as well just it's the save grief, the you know, stay on the highway. Save some grief. Yeah, okay, now there you see now, so if we were in a place where we're like in the open Sierras, we have like more of this forces and so close together and clusters this more. You can see granite rock, little mounds, mountains in the distance. It gives you kind of a perspective. Here it's just all pines. So that's what throws you off. You really have no sense of direction. Mm -hmm. We're about a mile from the truck. Oh, I think we're a half a mile. <laughs> oh, we were a quarter mile and a quarter mile up. That's a lot, you know. We still got another hike in Bernie. I still want to take a picture of that frozen lake, though. I feel bad about not being able to see Mount Lassen, you know. What a bummer. But we have a lot of time today. We got at least till five o'clock before it starts getting dark. The way I look at it, I just want my stuff in the Yeah. It's all good time, man. You know that thing? Yeah. Yeah, I'm just curious how far we're from the car. I'm thinking it's maybe a couple hundred yards that way to the left. Yeah. Yeah, it's up there. Yeah. It's about 
Yeah, yeah we, we, made, we made a big circle, Dave. Yeah, it's a half Big mile. loop, you know. It's a half mile up there. Easy. Yeah. Well, we're coming up to the road now. Right. Highway 299. It's a half mile up the road. It's a wave. What's that? I'm filming. Anyway, in the distance you could see the Lassen Range, or part of the Siskiyous, and uh, those are up about maybe 11,000 feet. Well, right now we're about 3,500 feet elevation, maybe close to four. Permit required for fires. Here's this, then this is the State Highway 299 right here. Heading towards Susanville. And you can see the mountains in the distance. Oops, sorry. In the distance. That way. So when you have a mountain, you can kind of get an idea what your distances and your time factors are. And you're a lot easier than you can in the midst of the piney forest, which we just made a big loop and got a little discombobulated. That way. <laughs> oh yeah! Oh wow! I thought we were this way. Yeah, See I how know. fucked up it is? Woo! We're a quarter Half mile. It's a, mile a quarter mile. Yeah. And we went a quarter. Yeah, we made a big loop, <laughs> and we came fucking right by. See how easy it is? Yeah, we didn't. Die. Oh fuck! No, yeah. Like that guy we Mark. We wimped out. Well, like that guy Mark. Well, we weren't really pushing hard, but that guy Mark, he goes on these. He has, he goes on these like wow. logging roads and stops. And he sometimes gets a mile off of where his foot because really? he winds up going in for curves, you know, and he's oh. going straight up the mountain. He thinks it's straight, and next thing you know, he's coming down like a mile and a half he away. Tells you that? Yeah, on, wow. on the film. He's got some balls wandering around out here, man. He's wandering around up in the Colorado Rockies. Wow. He's, he's like two or three miles from his uh, truck. Big rig, man. Yeah. So you can see where the truck is. We made a big loop. Yeah, man. <laughs> we made a big half a mile loop in the wrong direction, but we know where the truck is anyway. Luckily that is we so saw funny. It. Luckily that we saw that the is truck. So, we have walked up that hill. That is so hilarious. Well, this goes to show, Frank. Get your GPS. Uh, Get your GPS. My and my GPS ran out of juice. Luckily, I had my cell phone had one bar in it. Uh, anyway, there it is. <laughs> A lot of mans I needed here. So we're laughing now, today, but if we were like. Oh, say if that fence wasn't there, we kept walking. And we didn't see the truck. Yeah. And we kept walking yeah. that way. I'd be listening for the highways, but see, there's another road right there. You could, that's a trail right there. You can walk off a little ways. You want to walk up about a quarter mile down that way? See what's over there? Yeah. This looks really like We'll stay on the trail, though. Yeah, this looks like it's... Yeah. As I'm, I'm good. I don't want to do any more off-trail shit. Yeah, I hear you. Unless I can see my truck. GPS. Yeah. So now we're on the trail across the road. We're staying right on the road here to make sure we don't get, you know, there's a lot of manzanita around here. If we fall and trip, we can get messed up with these brambles. But at least there's no big thorns on the manzanita. The sharp branches, but, you know, it's survivable here. It won't fall in any poison oak like I did that time in early November <laughs> over there in, uh, in Pacifica. <laughs> anyway, I guess get an, get an idea what it's look like on this side of the road. So we got a little older trees. We got off the plantation. We were on a little tree plantation. Yeah, but this is what it looks like on this side. I almost want to get an idea what we got here. I'm thinking these are a combination of fir, grapevine. maybe some grape pine, 
maybe some lodgepole pine. The, the tree disease doesn't seem to have caught up in here. I'm not seeing any big dead trees, which is a good sign. I think it's hit the central Sierra very bad, very hard. In the summertime, it gets in the 80s and 90s here at this elevation. Down the valley, it's over 100 every day. But anyway, you can see how this trail will take you over a little bit of a ways. It's on pause right now. It's on pause. That way I can make one, just one video. Now I feel like taking my coat off yeah. in the sun, you know? Oh, look at, you can see in the distance, you see Mount Lawson. That's what I was looking for, the Vista Point. You can see the mountain from, from the Vista Point, you know? Let me see if I can catch it. I filmed a little bit. So from where we're at walking, we can see Mount Lawson in the distance. The park was closed, but I'll try to zoom it in a little closer. That's about a 12 foot elevate, 12,000 foot elevation there. That's covered with snow pretty good. But the park is closed past the ranger station and we had to turn around and go to the National Forest. Still beautiful though. It's quite beautiful. So I'm making my way up the road here. So what do you think, Davey? Huh? Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. So I get a little bit more of a, a shot of Mount Lassen in the distance.